Hey guys, how you going? Welcome back um, to another video. Um, the YouTube channel, Aussie Patriot. Uh, I am Stephen. Um, I am on Twitter. I am on Instagram. Um, under my business name, Total Shell Fitness. Uh, I am on Facebook. And I am on Snapchat, TikTok, everywhere. Um, and I'm in LinkedIn. But um, <coughs> I want to talk to you guys today about... At when, when, when will more people start realising that it's now becoming ridiculous? Like, it was already ridiculous to me from the fucking start. I mean, you know, this has been dragged on for a long time. I mean, and we all know, we all know, this, the facts are there, the facts. It's a 98% survival rate. You, you, you don't quarantine healthy people. You don't. You don't lock healthy people down. You don't. This is not how you do things. It's retarded. It's what, you know. You only have to look at back in the day with the Nazis and how that went. They made, the, they made them feel, they made the Jews and all them feel safe and secure and told them they were building camps where they would feel comfortable and safe and then they fucking gunned them down that didn't work so they 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 fucking burned them burned them alive so to to make them feel safe they told them that it was safe and that they were going to make sure that they were looked after and what happened in the end those guys actually built the camps they, the, the prisoners because they thought they were in good hands thought, thought, okay, they were made to believe that they were safe, okay, so, <coughs> excuse me, they actually built the camps themselves, they built the houses, and the bunk beds, and the chambers, they were all wearing the same clothes, and none of them worked it out. At what point are you going to realise that this is just becoming a fucking massive, massive, massive joke and that the burden on our future is going to be in the hands of my kids and your kids and most likely their kids? Now, I've got two issues today. Two fucking issues. I've got two today that I want to talk about. I've got one, which is to do with the Queensland Premier, Anastasia Palaszczuk. Okay? But... Hopefully I say her last name. I don't really care if I say her last name wrong, right or wrong. I fucking don't care, actually. I'm, I'm not going to hope that I said it right or wrong. I don't care, to be honest. That's just the fucking attitude I have today for her. Uh, for starters, you know that when she had her flu shot for the news, it was fake, right? So that was bullshit. Um, there's, there's, I've got the video on my phone, actually. I'm pretty sure I posted it on YouTube. If I can rem I'll, I'll find it. And if I haven't posted it, I'll post it. Um, so... Queensland, Queensland, uh, now going in monthly cycles of reassessing the situation. Reassessing the 98% success rate for survival. Okay? The issue here is people that are immune-compromised have always been the problem with this. Okay? They are the ones where they are the ones that should be restricting their movements. They're the ones that should be restricting where they're going, how they're going about it. They're the ones that are in nursing homes that we should be making sure we look after. We make sure we have adequate staff required. We make sure we have adequate training of staff required. We make sure we have adequate PPE for those staff. And we make sure that we have adequate procedures for those staff. Okay? Now, at, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, but at what point... Now, I'm going to get into the details here in a second. At what point is the health minister in charge of a state? At what point, Anastasia? You're the premier of that state. You are the Queensland Premier, elected by the people. You are the Premier, all right? You are the head honcho. You are the leader. You are the person that says yes or no. You were elected by your people. That's correct. And guess what? In a democracy, we get to ask questions and we get to raise our hand and say, hey, I don't agree with that. Now, I hope to fucking God, there are plenty of Queenslanders 
starting to ask questions. I am a natural born Queenslander. I was, I was born there. I was raised there for a few years. I've been back and forth over my lifetime. Okay, I'm a Queenslander, born and bred. Okay, oh, that's where I am. That's where I was. Okay, it's, I'm from there, and I'm I'm ashamed to call that my my uh, my actual state. Okay, on my birth certificate, because <clears throat> the way she's running that state is ridiculous, and it's just the same as fucking Dan Andrews. Now we won't go into Dan Andrews today because, well, we will because I've got that's the other subject actually. Wow, that's kind of ironic, isn't it? <laughs> Two draconian measures, two draconian enforcers running two, two different states. Anyway, so at what point is the health minister in charge? At what point does the health minister get to make the decisions? At what point is that okay for the Queensland people to accept? It's not okay. Because the health minister, the head health advisor, is not in charge of your state. Unfortunately, Anna... You are, and guess what? You can't say that someone else is, just so you don't have to bear the brunt of the fucking bad decisions. Because at the end of the day, it still reflects poorly on you because you handed, you handballed a certain job off to someone else who is not able to make the decisions. Okay? Yes, they can advise you. Okay? But they can't. They can't tell people. Okay? So they're currently Queensland on a month by month assessment now we're gonna just pull my laptop up here and i'm gonna just open up the the, the covid 19 um chart <coughs> excuse me just had food a little bit of something right i don't have the rona what if i did but what if i did but i didn't know it'd be weird wouldn't it let's see if we can find the the data the data is there's, <coughs> there's a really good website there's a really good website, really, really good. It's it's the it's the health.gov.au website. It's fucking perfect. I was posting this every day for about a week, every day, and the cases were going down every day. It's crazy, and the percentage of testing was going down. <coughs> I think I need a drink of water, but I don't have one today. Don't have one. So you guys are gonna have to ride out the storm with me. <coughs> no, I don't have the rona. Thanks to quit it. Okay, move the fuck on from that. Let's have a look. We have 7,045 people that have had, that have had, 7,045 people that have had the Rona. Out of that 7,045 people, 98 have died. So we're under 100 people, right? We're under 100 people. How fucking amazing is that? Well done, Australia. Congratulations. You've done well. Let's move on and let's now get our economy back. I'm a business owner. I run a business. I run my business from home. I'm successful. Okay, I do what I, I do what I love. I get to wake up every day and I get to help people achieve what they want to achieve. Let's get business back to going. I'm a small business. Okay? For me... It's been business as usual, okay? Because I don't, I, <coughs> I don't have to worry about that, that. And but I feel sorry for small business owners that have got to pay rent and all that sort of stuff, and they've got to pay the bills and all that sort of stuff that's going on, you know, pay staff and all that, right? So, out of that seven thousand forty-five, ninety-eight have died. Great, okay. Not great. People have died. Great that it's under hundred, right? You know, there are places where it's over thousand, over twenty thousand. Did you know the modelling? The modeling. I just read in something on the modeling anyway. I just read something on the modeling um, posted by Sky News from the uh, the Daily Telegraph that the modeling indeed for the coronavirus, the software, may be the biggest disaster of all time. Because let's just put this into perspective: ninety-eight people have died out of seven thousand and forty-five cases, right? Don't ask me what the percentage of that is or, or what the math is of that. I'm not very good at math, okay? I can barely count to 10 and, and, and do that successfully, okay? I even get lost at like 6. If you don't believe me, that's your problem, not mine, okay? We were projected, based on the modelling provided, that between 50 and 150,000 Australians would fucking die. 98 have died. Ninety-eight have died, but they they modelled 
for they they had model projections. Now that tells me the modelling is pretty far fucked. Don't you reckon? Pretty far fucked. So yeah, of course it's going to be probably one of the worst things of, in our lifetime as far as modelling is concerned for certain things and areas of, in 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 life and and government and and health statistics and and all sorts of shit. But It's crazy. I'm just trying to fathom that in my brain. So anyway, so we've got 98 people have died, okay? Very sorry and very sad that those people have died. All those people have died, have had other pre-existing conditions. Not one healthy adult has died, okay? Because that's not how the runner works, okay? The runner doesn't work like that. The runner works just like the flu, if you don't mind, okay? Just like the flu. It's susceptible to the vulnerable, which is happens every year anyway. So I mean, I think last year there was on a thousand, maybe a thousand, a thousand people died last year from the flu. Ninety-eight this year. Wow, unreal. So people, are, people have always been commenting and posting and stuff on Facebook, especially on my posts about you know like rah rah rah. Um, I had a mate. Uh, I think he deleted. I think he deleted that post, but. Um, which is a shame because it was a great post and it was a great it was a great um, centerpiece for talking and it was a great debate between three four people. Um, it was a healthy discussion and it was really good. No one got out of hand. Um, no one got upset. It was a really 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 good thing. Okay, it was a really great discussion between adults. You know, for once I'm, in my lifetime, I've I've been able to post a comment in a thread on Facebook and have a healthy discussion with other adults without the other person just jumping up and down and getting on my high horse because I disagree, okay? So, that got deleted. But the, the point is, uh, the, where was that going? I'm not going to remember. Um, point is, you, if you post something, try, I mean, I I'm, I'm, I do it too. You know, I've had a fair few posts I've had to delete just because people that I'm not discussing with, um, but people on my friends list have commented and another person on my friends list commented and they've got into a full blown argument and then they fucking just, boom, all right? And it ends up just exploding into something that it shouldn't be. All right. Yeah, we all can. We can all agree or disagree. We can all be on different parts. All right. Like yesterday, I posted about the fact that I got to have a chat with that young lady, the 12-year-old, uh, grade seven student, which was a great opportunity. Um, and as soon as I posted that, someone on my friends list, um, you know, uh, 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 somewhat a relative, um, somewhat a relative, um, <clears throat> come on, commented on, and was just being a smart ass, which is okay. I mean, I don't care. Uh, but at the end of the day. Um, you know, I, I feel privileged and I feel uh, um, I feel somewhat good about the fact that a um, a young person going through high school had the courage to come and ask me for my opinion and and what I thought on the whole process when everybody knows how I feel about it because this is what we're talking about. So, 6,397 6, people have recovered. Tad over 800 people out there with with the rona. There's about a tad, about a tad, 800 people, 700 and something ish. I'm not doing the math. I told you that I can't count to 10. So why would I bother trying to do that? All right. What I what I wanted to pull this up for was because we were modelled to 50,000 to 150,000 deaths. We've only had 7,000 cases. What the fuck? And we're closed, and we're still closed, and we're still restricted, and we're still held back, and we're still held down. Uh, shout out to all the patriots out there in Australia who are walking past Parliament houses and and um, you know um, in the government houses in Victoria and, and Sydney and um, there's a guy uh, Michael Sims. Uh, he, he's uh, shout out to you going to Canberra. I'm pretty sure that's where he lives. So he was at, he was actually at Parliament House. Um, you know, where the hobnobs get together and make the decisions based on this modelling, this, this stuff here, you know. So we had, we've had over a million people tested with a 0.7%. Point. So that's not one, that's, that's a zero, 0.7% positive rate. That's, <laughs> that's 0.7%. So it's not even a percent, it's not even 1% positive rate. We're under 1% positive rate, and we're still closed. We still have premiers 
saying, oh, no, 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 we're going we're gonna to keep the borders closed until September. Queensland, congratulations. You are now just as bad as Dan Andrews. All right? That's all I've got to say about that because that's 0.7%. That's 0.7. So that's 0.7% testing positive. That's a really, 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 really low positive test rate. That's a really low rate. That's fucking crazy. That's like insane. That means there's lots of people out there that don't fucking have it. That have been tested in there. And guess what? They're negative. So and we're still shut. We're still shut. So, right. Let's have a look at Queensland before I jump onto Dan Andrews because we're about halfway through the video. So, um... Queensland, 1,055 cases in total with six deaths. Currently, I do not know how many. Um, we might be able to have a look. Queensland. No new cases in the last 24 hours. Um, they have total confirmed cases of 1,055, which is right, with a total of, you know, six deaths. Um, which is, which is pretty, you know, which is pretty good, you know, considering, considering, um, we want to just look, I wanted to see how many people have recovered, I want to know how many people have recovered out of that 1,055, like, I don't know how many active cases they actually have, um, you know, whereas, Whereas you can understand that, that New South Wales probably wouldn't want to open borders until September. You could probably understand that. They have currently got uh, 3,075 cases. 3,070. So they've got, they've got the very most in the entire country. Okay? They're the hub. They're the epicenter. When you want to put, someone, when you want to put fear into someone... When, we, when the newspaper or the news articles or the media wants to put fear into people, you know what they use? Epicenter. It's the epicenter. So, I'm not going to use that word, okay? It's not the epicenter because that case rate is probably a lot lower. The active cases are a lot lower. They have to be. I mean, if there's only 700 fucking cases in the entire, state, entire Australia, that, you know, that says that their, their case rate would be fuck all. Okay? We in Tasmania have no uh, new active cases. I think we have like a total of 20 all up. And yet. But anyway, I get to open business today. I get to do boot camp again. Yes. Fucking love boot camp. I love my guys. I love my, 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 my crew. They're awesome. So, um, you know why I love my crew and I love them and I think they're awesome? It's because they don't judge me based on the opinions I have for this shit. Um, they accept me for who I am. Um, and they know that what you see is what you get. Um, so let's talk about, that's Queensland. So Anna, 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 Anastasia, Anastasia, listen, listen. Stop being a fuckhead, right? Just, just, just two seconds. Stop being an idiot, okay? I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure you're an intelligent person and you can make your, make your own decisions based on the statistics of the country, Okay? Mr. Dan Andrews, let's talk about you. Let's, we've got five to ten minutes to talk about Dan Andrews. Do you know who Dan Andrews is? Go research him. Okay? Go look him up. He is a Labour MP. He is a Labour Premier. Okay? Labour. Fucking Labour. Now, there are some things I like about Labour, but there are a lot of things I don't like about Labour. There are some things I like about Liberals, but there are also, also a lot of things I do not like Liberals. They both have their part and parcel, okay? They have some good policies, they both have shit policies, alright? They usually have more shit policies than good policies. Mr. Dan Andrews, can you ask, can I ask you a question? And this is a very valid point. The country has spent hundreds of billions of dollars keeping people economically alive, okay? Meaning that the country spent hundreds of billions of dollars to keep people at work, work, the people that are allowed to go to work. The country has spent hundreds of billions of dollars on, on making sure that people on welfare can go out and spend extra money to boost the economy, because that's, that's why they do it. By the way, if you didn't know why they gave 
you don't understand why it works the way it works then you need to probably go and research and do some more reading into why low uh, un unemployment why unemployed people get more in the crisis versus someone who doesn't who someone who works okay if you don't understand why and how that works then you need to go and research and learn about it because there is a massive difference between someone earning $550 a fortnight versus someone who's already working and adding value into the system on $1,100 a fortnight because they are in gainful employment and they get paid, okay? So they can already inject money into the system because they can afford it, okay? The average person, the average low income earner, middle low to middle income earner can already inject money into the economy because they earn the money Okay, and that's because they earn more than someone who is on unemployment benefits. The unemployment benefits are systemized the way they are because they are designed to make living harder so that they can't enjoy luxuries that you get to enjoy, like going to the movies all the time or going out for dinner with your mates every Friday and Saturday night or going to the Christmas do and shout in the bar a round of drinks. They don't get to do that because they can't afford to do that because they don't have a job to pay for that, okay? So when they come to a crisis, what happens is the government goes, hey, guess what? We're going to give you guys an extra $300, $400, $500 per fortnight because we need you guys to go out and spend more money, okay? Because we know you don't have any money to spend. We know that your $550 a fortnight pays rent, pays the bills, and that's about fucking all. Okay, it buys your ciggies and it buys your coffee. Okay, your, your, your fucking Nescafe 42 blend or whatever it is, that, that shit, that garbage. They don't buy, they don't buy Makona because they can't afford Makona. But guess what? When we're in the middle of a crisis, they can for a reason because they keep the supermarkets fucking open. So then the supermarket employees still have a job. All right, it's really not hard. It's not rocket science. I'm not joking. This shit is fucking easy. If I someone who finished grade 10 and then left can work this shit out, you can, all right? I'm not, and I'm not the brightest person on the planet. I will tell, I'll be the first to tell you, I'm not the most smartest person on the planet. I am far beyond that shit, okay? I'm way down the bottom as far as being intelligent is. It's just about being, having common sense and rational thinking, okay? Which is not hard, which is really not hard. So Dan Andrews, after the country spent billions, not tens of billions, hundreds of billions on keeping us alive economically, you've decided to now drop another 2.7 billion into your state. But your state is currently going broke because you're shut and you won't let anyone open anything. And the pubs and bars you start are letting open can't service because they have to wait till the 20 patrons limit. I've got people here in this, I've got businesses in this town that I know of <clears throat> that won't be opening until they can at least allow 20 patrons in because it doesn't pay the bills. 10 people doesn't pay the bills. 10 people at a time does not pay the bill. That 10 people at a time slows the service down. You slow the service rate down, guess what? People sit around for longer. Therefore, the longer people sit around, the less packs of 10 you'll send in. Okay, the less that, that rotation will become slower. Therefore, the day will become longer. Therefore, the less people will actually go through the restaurant, cafe, or bar. If you're paying rent on a property and you're only and you you used to get by on fifty patrons at a time, then ten is not gonna cut the mustard. You're gonna end up going broke. Er, you're going to be in debt. Okay, it's great. You're gonna be. Able, you don't have to pay your staff because you've got the job keeper. But that that that's great. But you still got to pay the bills. You got to pay the power bill. You got to pay the water bill. You got to pay the rent. Okay. You got to pay stock. You got all these other bills you got to pay. It's great. It's great. That's awesome. So I think they went around. I, I, you, you, and you just spent. 20, where does the money fucking come from? You. We've just spent a hundred. We've just spent hundreds of billions of dollars. Into the into the economy, so we've just basically drowned our economy. We were 
we were almost we were aiming for a surplus plus right we're aiming for a plus this year i think last year i think they said in 12 months we'd be in a plus that ain't happening <coughs> there's talks that the gst may raise rise be risen may raise my rise whatever it might rise to 12 percent which is ridiculous because at 10 percent it's still fucking retarded and doesn't really work because you can't really follow it once you get to a certain point of GST, it just disappears. They want to ban cash. So they want to do the $10,000 cash ban. Meaning that if you want to go and buy a boat off, each, off, off, off Facey. And you go to the, you won't be able to go to the bank to get 10 Gs out to pay for your boat. They want to, they want to ban that. They do. I'm not joking. There's fucking, there's, there's heaps of shit on it. Thing is, there's is, is, is an app. It's called the Freedom of Information Act. Uh, and there's a video, actually, that was floating around on YouTube that showed what Scamo was up to. Um, so, also, he's been passing shit through the house without actually having to go through the, the prop channels. He's been, I don't know, he's got some weird power that allows him to do that, which I didn't think he actually could have. Um, but I'm not talking about that. 2.7 billion. Where's the money come from? Okay, I'm, I'm okay, look, did you, the method and the theory behind the 2.7 billion. Let's just cover that really quickly. All right, so you don't think that I'm being an asshole. 2.7 billion, 1.8 billion of that will be injected into the education system to help build new schools, upgrade schools, refurniture, all that sort of stuff, right? <clears throat> Basically, refurbish or build new schools to, to, to take on more students in the long term, which is great. Okay, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not pissy about that. I just want to know where the money comes from all of a sudden. Like, the, the, they, they tell us we can't have any money, we don't have any money, we don't have this, we can't afford that, we're doing this and this and this and this and this. So now we spent 90 billion, 90 billion on submarines, on 12 submarines. 90 billion. <sighs> Do we need the subs? I'm not sure if we need them. I don't know. Um, it does my head in. So anyway, Dan Andrews, stop being a knob. Where is the money coming from? And who's going to have to pay it back? See, that's the problem. People don't ask questions like that. It's the problem. And our kids aren't taught to ask questions like that. Our kids aren't educated to tell you, hey, where does that come from? Who's going to pay that back? At 2.27, yep, whatever, fucking 2.7 billion. And then it's going to go towards other stuff as well, you know, like construction and, 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 and funding projects and stuff like that, which is great because it keeps people in jobs and it keeps people... Putting food on the table. It's great. It's great. But where does it come from? And who's going to have to repay it? Because 2.7 2 billion just doesn't magically happen. Because if it magically happened, I wouldn't make these videos. I wouldn't be making these videos. I wouldn't be running a business. I could just, oh, well, 2.7 billion. It doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. Because someone's got to give you the money. You've got to get the money from somewhere. And then your citizens are going to have to pay it back. So what are you going to do? You're going to raise taxes? You're going to fix potholes and shit on the highways, so you're going to add a toll? What are you going to do? You need to pay it back. And that's the problem. Victorians aren't asking the questions. They're not asking, oh, you know, oh, fucking Dan, you fucking Dan. Dan's done a great job. No, he hasn't. He hasn't done a great job. He's just got an 11% pay rise, you fucking morons. And now he's just spent another $2.7 of the state's money if they have any, to 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 do a noble thing, which is which is noble, but where is it coming from, and who's paying it back? All right, that's the video for today. Anastasia Palaszczuk, you're an idiot. Stop being an idiot. Wake up. Open the borders. You've got one fucking. Are you kidding me? All right, you got fuck all this. Especially far north Queensland and all those guys. You guys should be able to do whatever you want. Um, it's retarded that you're. And Dan Andrew as well. I don't know, but I don't know about you, but if I was still living in Victoria, I'd want to move today. That's how fucked up I think Victoria is at the moment, and how fucked up it's going to be for the next 20, 30 years. I don't know. I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but I know that it's not not good right now. But long term, who knows? Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you like the content. 
please like the videos please share the videos if you find them valuable um, this was the daily show brought to you by me the australian patriot stephen and uh, we will see you guys tomorrow